I think that the police, when they make an arrest and they take a cell phone from a subject, they tend to look in the cell phone and they tend to search the cell phone. And in fact, I've had cases where they've answered the cell phone and told the uh, alleged buyer to meet them at a location. In the bigger cases um, involving a substantial amount of drugs or a serious crime, I've noticed the trend now is to get search warrants. Nine months ago, they weren't doing it. When I say search warrants, I'm saying they're being specific in getting search warrants, not only for the apartment and the house, but also for the cell phone itself. There's no question in my mind that Judge Savage's ruling has had a major impact on law enforcement in the state of Rhode Island. I now see search warrants that are more detailed, but being specific about searching certain cell phones, including cell phone records, tower records, uh, anything connected with the cell phone, any emails, electronic data that's stored in the cell phones. So irregardless of how our Supreme Court rules on that issue, law enforcement has already now moved in that direction.